So if anyone's watched the changes, you used to be able to get off of 101 and come right up the hill at the very first viewpoint. Check that out, come up the Hawk Hill, come around, go around the backside, go over to the Mammal Center, over to the beach there. Okay, I don't know if anyone can guess where I'm at, but oh, let's see if I can get up in here and get going before, uh, before we can't go through the tunnel. Mammal Center is out there if you keep going straight. Let me see if I can go around Hawk Hill too. There's been a lot of changes in traffic out here. I'm trying to minimize the, the congestion, I think. Should be able to look back here and see the ocean on this one, I think. Yep, there it is. So pretty views. There's a lot of hiking trails around here too. Not just bicycle ring, but hiking. You just gotta watch. Make sure uh, pedestrians, bicyclists, make sure that's that too. can't go up here anymore. Sometimes you take things for granted just because they're all kind of right in your back door. I guess it's never a good idea to do that. Oh, it's good to get out. Really a clear day. That's not really the norm. The norm actually is uh, uh, actually a little bit of fog, especially when it's warmer. It's supposed to warm up, so... Yes, it's open. So I can't go back to Hot Hill. Okay, so what we're going to do then going to turn around. We're not going to screw around on the, on the trail. There's too many people. Don't want to get in trouble with the park rangers. Now that's a view. The Palace of the Fine Arts. Court Tower. Pyramid. Famous Golden Gate Pictures, Alcatraz, and beautiful Gold Gate. So we'll go down to the old, well I can't go down to the old viewpoint, unless, well I will. I'll go down to the old viewpoint, come all the way around. Ah, uh, you know what? 
I won't do that. I'm going to do a do a U-turn at the so so if anyone's watched the changes, you used to be able to get off of 101 and come right up the hill at the very first viewpoint. Check that out, come up the Hawk Hill, come around, go around the backside, go over to the Mammal Center, over to the beach there. Or you could come down too. You could come back from the Mammal Center, come back up here, and then come up to Hawk Hill and go down. They've restricted traffic now from 101 coming up. So now you have to go the way that I just went through through Bunker Tunnel. It's a beautiful day today. That is really, really pretty. So anyway, you have to get off the um, exit and pretty much go in towards Sausalito, get on bunker, go under bunker, and then come up the back side. That's the only way to get up here now. You can go down, and you can't get back on the freeway, you know, either way. You just can't come up here anymore. And it looks like Hawk, because if I look on a map, when they were doing construction, they had Hawk, uh, the backside of Hawk Hill closed, and now, uh, um, now it's open. That's pretty, guys. And this is the backside right here, so when you come up to Hawk Hill, do not forget to come off the back because let me tell you how's this for a view <laughs> and you can see how windy it is look at that that's gorgeous that is really beautiful okay You can see the road winding down right by the ocean. Oh, Daily City back there. So fun, so pretty. A mammal center over here. Oh, and if you come, you will want to definitely park at Hawk Hill and walk some of these trails up to uh, uh, up to some of the bunkers. Or coming around this way, there's some empty bunkers out here. I need to do more research because I have to figure out how, I mean, obviously the road was part of the railroad track to supply the, the bunkers with munitions, but uh, how they got them from there up to the bunkers. I'm not quite sure. There's several of the bunkers are cut off, so I'm not so sure there isn't some type of uh, dumb waiter or elevator system. Look at that. So pretty. I have to tell you, it's been it's been a little bit since I've come up here and played around. They're doing a lot of construction, so it just wasn't. And then with the traffic, there's always a lot of traffic. It is what it is. Summer, of course, is the worst.
It is very, very windy. You can see all the trails around. As we're hiking, horseback riding. See, here's a... We're going to come up on a bunker right here on your left. Look at that view. And you can see they, they still have the insets. And you can see some of the tunnels where the cannons were. Just amazing. Mike said it was 71, 72 when I got here. Up on the hill, it's dropped down to 67. It's getting all this wind, but you can see all those white caps coming off the ocean here. It is, uh, wow, the beach has a lot of people. But uh, you can see all the white caps coming in, bringing that cool Pacific air right into us. This is why there's so much fog when it's really sunny out. It's so hot inland, and that cools it off so much. Just, I'm going to make a little detour right up here. This is a cool view, too. Kind of bumpy. Ah, so good. You can... No, well, never mind. <laughs> never mind. I'm not going to... Uh, uh, I'm not going to uh, insinuate anything, but uh, uh, there's some good views out here. <laughs> That's very pretty. Alright. I don't want to incriminate myself. <laughs> and then this, you can go around, you go out to the light. Well, you can't go all the way out to the lighthouse. You can hike out to the lighthouse. You can go out there. And that's pretty cool. That was really, it's not the radio tower that you saw, but all the way on the point is the lighthouse. And then we're going to come around this way, which will actually loop us back or, or let us go out to uh, uh, the Mammal Center. And these are old barracks. Well, they were old barracks, and now they're, well, I don't know. I think they're leased out to different places. I never noticed there's a guard in that guard station in the missile site. Now that goes out, the visitor center's here, but that goes out to the headlands there. Marine Mammal, Rodeo Beach. Now we'll go back, so what I'll do is Come back out this way and go back up to the, uh, I don't know what you'd call it since you can't come up this way. It's not a true roundabout. I guess it is a roundabout with three. But we'll go up back up to the roundabout and come down. The tunnel, that's where we came up. It actually has always had a really long light. That's why uh, the beginning of the video, I kind of jumped on it. It brought to my attention that maybe I should do something that somebody that's not from here would like to see, would like to do. So, I'll put this together for you. Not to say these aren't some of my favorite roads. That's not the case. I, I love these roads. I, I mean, look at the views. It's fantastic. It's, that's not the case. There are so many roads with fantastic, marvelous views for me that 
I don't have to play games with my speed and everything else because I'm going to be catching people. I, there's, there's tons of places. That's neat. There's tons of places here that uh, you can find where it's almost solitude. It's like, wow. How's that? Pretty Beaker Beach, Golden Gate. This used to so this used to be two-way traffic. It looks like they got a bicycle lane wherever, but um, this is one way going down now. So again, like I was talking about, you can't come back up from the highway up this way. Which actually, to be honest, this is the best view coming down. Point. So if you, these are great views. These are good to pull over and, and everything. But this uh, uh, overlook here, Kirby Cove is uh, uh, the best. You can park and then just hike up. It's not much of a hike. It's definitely a hike though. It's not. It's not like it's paved or anything like that. But it gives you a spectacular view of the bridge and the city and the bay. Look at that. The big bridge. Of course, right takes you over the Golden Gate into San Francisco. And we're going to play up north. 